This week has been uh, really devoted to uh, the opioid roundtables, and I'm going around the state just to ask people about what we can do as a state, working together to address the terrible drug overdose epidemic we have in Pennsylvania. It's a medical problem. We need to address it. If we do, we're going to save lives and we're going to save uh, a lot of money that we're now spending on, on uh, the criminal justice system that we should be spending on treatment. It's really interesting because it's a bipartisan issue. It's, uh, there are Republicans and, and Democrats, uh, liberals and conservatives. Everybody's rallying around this because this is a a problem that, that affects all Pennsylvania. We lost more people to drug overdose in, in 2014 than we did to traffic accidents. So it is a big, big problem uh, and we cannot ignore it. These roundtables are great because you learn, so I've learned a lot. The placement of the uh, drop-off boxes for drugs, for example, we've got to be careful that we, we put them in places that are convenient. We have to make sure that we're not just uh, administering naloxone to people who have overdosed. Uh, we need to make sure that we're handing those folks off to treatment. People who come to the emergency room looking for uh, treatment and help uh, with addiction problems, that we're not just sending them back out to the street because we don't have enough beds. There are a lot of people who are talking at these round tables and, and presenting a lot of good ideas. ideas uh, aimed at, at eliminating the stigma, at, at providing the resources, and aligning the resources with, with the need in, in ways that we really haven't done before. So a lot of good ideas have come out of this, uh, th these uh, roundtables. So it was a good week.